What's up everybody? This is Mr. Camp aka Chronic Tone and this is part two to where we left off last time with making a beat. We made the beat from scratch last time using no samples, using computer uh, computer instruments. And um, today I'm going to show you, since the beat is already made in a single loop, I'm going to show you how to structure it from intro to everything in the middle, verses, choruses, and an outro. And then we're going to mix it and make all of the levels of each instrument balanced and well-rounded. So let's give it a listen, just what the loop sounds like with individual layers, just as a refresher. We started with the drums. I'm gonna mute these other, these other uh, groups. So you can see that I have groups A, B, and D up here um, with the respective instruments. D is drums, A is the ARP, the ARP uh, instrument, and B was my background instrument. So what we have here is the drums. Um, each, each group will show its respective pattern. This one is four bars long. One, two, three, four. With all of the MIDI notes drawn in. And uh, it makes the pattern. Two. Three. Four, loop. And you can follow the cursor for where it is here. And then it also shows the loop being complete and going back. So right now it's just going in a four bar loop of one scene. Each one of these slots is called a scene. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the beat is properly structured given the scenes so the whole layout here will be um, from start to finish without looping. It'll just go one time through like an actual track. So uh, that was our drum layer. This is our instrument layer. And the background synth. So we're going to build this up, starting with an intro. So what I'm going to do is start it with just this. And then scene two is going to be the same thing, but with the background instrument. Scene two. And scene three is going to come in with the drums. And then I'm going to make that go another four bars. See, that'd be eight bars. So I'm gonna make it do eight bars like that, and then I'm gonna have 
the verse be slightly different by taking the lower end of the kick. Uh, where is it? The sub part of the kick. I'm going to take that out for a couple bars and just have the kick, um, the main kick, just a punch of the kick. They're going together like this. So I'm going to take this one away and just have it be the punch. So this next pattern, I'm going to have to duplicate this one. So let's see, it copied 15 to 16. So now they're identical, but I'm going to take the sub out. So it's just the punch. gonna start the first pattern like that and then let the kick come in so it's gonna go four bar four bars of this instrument by itself the first the lead instrument and then another four bars with the lead and the background synth and then the drums are gonna drop in with no sub for let's see four bars and then we'll have the sub come in for the next four bars. So let's hear what that sounds like. So I'm gonna highlight all of these and go from the beginning. scene three and scene four is having the drums mute at the end and cut and drop for one second so like this I would have it so instead of doing I'll play it live for you what I was thinking so I would be like So I'm going to use a live mute here. So rather than playing it live using the actual mute function on the machine, what I'll do is draw that in. So uh, by deleting, deleting the notes that I want to mute. So it would be... Right there. same thing main instrument background instrument no sub for eight bars and then we'll do the next scene with the next two scenes with the same with the other part the same instruments with the sub 
base in there, which is uh, pattern 15. So now let's listen to the full thing of what we have from the beginning. Following along right here. tell that it wants to do that one more time with the sub and then we'll go two times without the sub and then we can zoom this out a little bit to see longer so it's going to go intro one bar with no sub uh, four bars and then eight bars with the sub then another eight bars without it and then bring it back again 15 background so it's sort of just like drawing these like Legos um, so let's let's take that and listen to it now from the top Mix it up and take the background instrument out. Let's try that and see how that sounds. for this I like this general layout for the beat um, if I was gonna have somebody rap to it and it was gonna be verse and chorus I would extend it longer but this would be my basic format that I would I would leave the intro and this is the body I would duplicate the body for however many verses there were 
Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it as one verse, and then I'm going to use these last couple bars as an outro. And what I'm going to do on the outro is I'm going to put some automation, which means that um, automation basically means um, an effect that's going to move automatically. So I'm going to pre-draw it in, and then as it hits the part that I draw in the effect, it's going to fade out um, with a filter. And I'm going to use a low-pass filter, which means... Um, I'm going to put it on the master. So the low pass filter is going to allow the low end bass stuff to pass through and it's going to cut the high end. So a low pass is a high cut. So I'm going to go into effects and get a filter. And uh, let's just try this out. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the filter separately on these instruments. So I had a good idea for the for the outro, I'm going to fade them out with a low pass and I'm going to do the opposite on the intro. I'm going to fade them in with a high pass. So they're going to start high and become full on the intro and then start full and go down to low bass as the outro. So I'm going to do each of these two instruments, the main and the background separately. So um, I'm going to do that by starting it off full. Okay, I did it too fast that time. So let me try it one more time. I want to do it nice and slow. So now it's only on this end bar and not the main one as an outro. Now the main one is still full. So I'm going to do the same thing with group B, which is the background synth. So start it full and then I'm gonna wait for it to come around and then bring it down. So now. So now it'll go. the intro filter fade in from low to high like such I'm gonna start off lower down here wait for it to come around So that's the beginning bars, it fades up, and then into bar two. Perfect, save. Saving, perfect. So now let's hear it one time from start to finish. And what I'm going to do is, on a new group, I'm going to record internally from the master. The master volume 
is here. But before I do that, I want to make sure that all of our levels are good. So. We never want it to be hitting the red on the top here. So you see how it's hitting the red? That means it's it's maxing out and it's it's peaking. It means it's hitting past the peak and there's too much noise to, for the speakers to be able to handle. So we want it to be we want it to be as close to the ceiling as possible without hitting it. Too loud. Right there. Okay, so what I was saying before, now what we're gonna do is on a new group, it's gonna return record internally of everything the machine is doing. So it's gonna be one live bounce that I've already um uh, structured here. This whole str song structure is made is already laid out here, and I'm just gonna have it record itself. So record new group H. Its source is internal rather than external from a vinyl or a sample or an instrument. And then I'm going to put the threshold down to zero. So as soon as I hit start, it's going to start. So I hit start, and then. So what that does is it allows the full song to be less repetitive and have some variation within the song structure. So there's a build up and then some something is introduced and then it's taken away. And then when it comes back, it's refreshed and then it fades out and sort of says farewell as it goes off into the distance. And um, having it now it's all been bounced and recorded into one actual compiled condensed track which is a wave file and i can convert it to an mp3 so then it can be sent to uh be recorded on top of and also this structure can be uh changed based on whatever kind of song is going to be written on top of it so that's it for today we have our final beat 
And um, we'll see you next class for some more beat making. One-on-one. Peace.